All right, I've got a question for you guys. What was the very first device that you guys remember owning personally to do whatever on you? Maybe you watched videos in 2009, golden age of YouTube. Maybe you played cool math games, I, I don't know. I used to have one of the classic giant beige computer towers from the 90s. I don't remember much about that system other than seeing it in a couple pictures. I think I remember one time, for whatever reason, I just noticed it started getting real slow. Turns out the whole thing was just chock full of viruses. I wasn't a very smart kid back then. But eventually I moved onto this small white e-machines OEM tower, and it was basically nothing more than an email machine, really. But I remember that was the first system that I started playing Minecraft on in 2012. Oh my god, was this thing bad. It used to average maybe 12 FPS, maybe on good days 15, but I remember one time in specific, I was playing on a super flat world, building whatever it was, and it started raining and the whole computer <laughs> crashed. But from there, I moved on to my family's laptop, our Toshiba laptop. I actually have it, hold on a sec. And I keep it as a memento, because this thing was leagues better than the e-machine. I went from that thing to this laptop, and it basically doubled my frame rate. I was getting like 24 FPS. And I think the reason it was so much better was because this actually had some sort of AMD integrated graphics or something like that. And basically, I ran this thing into the ground. Like, this thing got so unbelievably hot when playing. I basically broke the battery I used it so much. It can stay charged for about seven minutes if it's not plugged in. I even remember taking this thing apart one time where I blew out all the dust and then I basically put it back together for the heck of it and I think the keyboard cable came disconnected. Like this thing still works, trust me. But getting back to the e-machines desktop, I don't remember what the heck we did with this thing. I remember we gave it to my grandmother for my cousins to do homework over there, but eventually Eventually they replaced that system and I'm like, oh, I guess it's just gone forever. But I couldn't have been more wrong. A while ago I helped my dad upgrade his office desktop because it was running fairly slow. It was a Dell OEM, but he kept all the boxes for that. So we were cleaning out our basement and he had the case box and he's like, why is this thing so heavy? And he opened it up and lo and behold, we found this thing in there. I was having flashbacks to my beautiful Minecraft days in glorious 10 FPS. I haven't booted this thing in years. I don't know how long it's been sitting in there. We gotta check this thing out. This thing used to run Windows Vista, and it probably still is, but not just Windows Vista, Windows Home Basic version of Vista, like Diet Vista. If Vista wasn't bad enough, this was disgusting. It had a Celeron processor. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if this was a like single core processor. But look, it did have Nvidia graphics, and now, you know, of course they're integrated graphics, but I mean, hey, got the GeForce branding right on there. But that's not all. This thing had a freaking DVD drive, and this thing was sick. You come over here, and you push this. Oh god, it's so squeaky. Oh, it's awful. I hate it. If you push this button out, this thing flips down and the disk drive pops out. It was so cool. And there was a second one down here, but I never put anything in that one. And look at the amount of device readers it's got. Not only had headphone and microphone, but dual USB, probably USB 2, maybe USB 1? I don't freaking know. SD card support, micro SD card support, whatever the heck an XD is, that thing, and one of those. I never used any of them. This thing had 160 gig hard drive, probably 5400 RPM, probably slower, and two gigs. And look, it even says right on the side panel, this is for surfing the net and watching movies. I could build a music library and burn DVDs. Got my, well, my mixtape, friends and family. I don't have many of those. So let's plug in this terrible VGA TV. It's a TV, it's not even a monitor. And plug in these awesome PS2 peripherals. Heck yeah. But before I plug this in and see what still remains on the drive, if anything, I wanna see what's actually inside of the computer because I have not opened this thing up in how many years? At the time, I knew basically nothing about computers. I had been like, how can you smush a bunch of rocks, shoot some electricity through it, and now I've got Minecraft. So I'm gonna take this thing apart. I wanna see what's still in here. It's probably not very impressive, and it might be dusty. I'm gonna take my chances. Come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like kind of nervous. I don't know how well I treated this thing over the years. One, two, three. Oh, that's not that bad. I mean, it's just kind of your standard OEM motherboard, I guess, with your 
ketchup and mustard cables. Here's a bomb. 250 watts. Yeah, let's never use that again. <laughs> you got your Cooler Master fan. That's a reputable brand right there. Sure, the motherboard's all purple and orange and white, but like, look, I got my DDR2 down there. One gig a piece. And here's that super tiny hard drive. And you might be thinking, heck yeah, there's your NVIDIA graphics card. No, that's a, it's like a modem or phone line, maybe one of the two. But yeah, this thing isn't even really that bad. If I'm being honest, I was expecting much worse. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, can you see that? No, maybe? No, can't really see it. Basically there's spider webs right there. That's pretty nasty. I don't think there's any fans in this system. No, I was right. There's not a single fan in this system. Case fan anyway. No exhaust fans up top, that's for sure. Let's just smack the side panel back on, I guess. Get this thing powered up. I wanna see you. There's Minecraft on here. You know what? I'm gonna leave the panels off of this thing because, you know, quite frankly, that looks kind of cool. I got the power supply plugged in. I got the keyboard and mouse, the monitor, the little Wi-Fi stick because I don't have ethernet in here. And I even plugged my speakers in for the heck of it. So let's see if I can get this system working. Fingers crossed. Let's hope the fan starts spinning, please. Uh, Power supply switch on. No, there's no power supply switch. What about, oh, should probably plug the computer in first. Come on, baby, please. <gasps> oh. oh, it's making weird noises. Oh, hello? The hard drive sounds so bad. Oh, we got the CPU fan spinning. That's good. <gasps> I heard the speakers. Do I gotta turn the monitor on? Ow! My light just tried to commit suicide on me and smash me in the side of the head. Thank you. Can I try turning on the monitor? I don't know what button it is. It might be this one. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna say PC. There we go. <gasps> there it is! Oh my God! It works! What is it? It's got Windows 7? No way. We got timestamp. 2017? Oh my god, how did it get that far off? Okay, so at first glance, it doesn't look like there's really anything on here. I'm afraid it might have been wipes. Because, you know, you got your Microsoft Word, you got your Excel, you got Internet Explorer. That's really it. I don't think there's really anything else on here. Hold on, let me check out... Uh-oh. Oh no! Is that it? Oh, I think this might be all that's, oh God, the trackball mouse is so bad. Come on, music? No, pictures? What are these? Whoa, okay. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of bad. There's some bad pictures on here. I'll tell you right now, they're not mine because I have not touched this computer since like 2014. Cause like I said, this went to my cousins. Oh, uh, mm. <laughs> God, it's so slow. Oh, that's so disappointing. I'm so sad. There's no Minecraft on this thing. I was really hoping my old saves would have been on here. You know, the ones that managed to crash this entire computer on a super flat world at 12 FPS, but I'm not going to disappoint you guys. I'm going to try and put Minecraft on this thing and see how, how bad it runs. It's probably going to be terrible. We are currently sitting at 1.18 gigs out of two. That is almost 70% of our RAM is being used with this system. Like, how can a system get to this point? Like, that's just torture. This poor little thing, oh my god. All right, I'm gonna install some stuff, get connected to the internet, and figure out why this thing's suffering so much. Yes! 
Finally! Oh my god! That took way too long to do. Basically, I tried plugging this Wi-Fi stick, this Wi-Fi USB dongle thingy, into the computer to get Wi-Fi. It wasn't working. I'm like, okay, this is an incredibly old USB Wi-Fi dongle. Let me just try the one that I have. Oh, I just dropped it. That one wasn't working either. So I'm like, what the heck's going on? Why isn't this working? This should just be plug and play. Real simple. No. What I had to do was I had to go onto my laptop and I had to install this driver software onto my flash drive, load the wireless drivers onto this thing to get this thing working. And now I have Wi-Fi. Now I can finally install Minecraft. So let's get this going. doing anything else on this system is so hard. It takes so long. Personally, I think this system is kind of a lost cause. The Minecraft window itself closed, so I, I'm imagining that means it's like in the process of trying to run it. This, this is taking forever to load, but you know what? I'm honestly surprised this thing hasn't just burst into flames yet. My god, it's so painful to watch. Actually, you know what? Let me know if you guys want to see me throw a 960 in this build. Sure, it's kind of old, but like... At the same time, this is a this is an incredibly old system. How's our friend Task Manager over here doing? Probably not too hot. 91% memory. Oh no! Come on, I know you have this in you. No, no, no! Don't you dare! Oh, oh my God! Please, I swear, I swear to God, I know it's not gonna be great. I don't have high hopes for it. I don't know. Maybe I'll just be nice and recycle it because I mean, it's basically just got. No. <gasps> it's hurting so bad. 90% RAM usage. It was up to like 90% CPU usage. Okay, we're sitting at 100%. The square isn't filled in all the way. So I know it's lying to me. Oh my god, this poor system. Come on, come on. You've got this. I know you do. <gasps> no. Way. Okay, I think it's frozen again. <laughs> I'm trying to... Yeah, there it goes. Oh. Hello. Look at you go at your, like, one frame per five seconds. The Intel Celeron 420 at 1.6 GHz is a one-core CPU with one thread. This, my friends is top tier gaming right here. Can I move now? Oh, oh, yep, that's really one FPS right there. I wanna try to at least get this playable. Oh my God, even the menu. Oh my God, please. Graphics, turn that down fast. Smooth lighting off. Render distance, let's turn that down to maybe like six, six five, five chunks, six chunks. Let's do that. Frame rate unlimited. Clouds off, particles minimal, uh, entity shadows. Let's turn those off. We're getting somewhere slowly but surely. Oh, I can decrease the resolution. Let's see how low I can go. Three, four, four FPS, seven. No way. One, oh, back to one. Oh, this game. Uh, no, just. Just no. <laughs> How did I used to play on this thing at all? This is literally a slideshow. Let's just try another installation real quick. Maybe not going back as far as 2.5. Let's try, let's do 1.5. No, I'll meet in the middle between 15 and two. We'll do 1.7. Okay, we'll try that. Create, play. Let's try this again. It doesn't really look to be doing any better. I was sitting at three FPS originally, and now we're back to zero. <sighs> it's really tried. Come on, you can do this. Let's try. I'll set it to peaceful to get rid of all the mobs and make it a little bit easier. <gasps> I saw it. Hold on. Hold on. 
10, 10 FPS, 7, 7, ugh, 7. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Oh, it's so bad right now because it's still loading all the chunks. Oh my god, look at him go. We we're setting like 9, 9 frames for a second. Hold on, I'm gonna try and bump this up, see if that changes anything. Oh my god, oh my god, look at this. I'm playing Minecraft on a system that's like almost more than half as old as I am. Oh my god, look at this. Hello, hold on, oh, hold on, hold on. I, just, I, gotta, I gotta wait for my frames to come through. How you doing, man? Yep, oh my god. Oh god, we're freezing. I'm gonna give this man some emeralds. I was honestly not expecting to get this to work. And I mean, it really doesn't. I'm, I'm mostly averaging single digits. I'm playing with probably the worst graphics settings humanly possible for this game. I can't even fly because it's it's just so bad. Look, we got like lighting artifacts here. But you, did you see that? We were sitting at 10 FPS for a very short amount of time. I'm, I'm very excited. <laughs> this... This is monumental for me, like holy crap. I had a very fond memory of just burning villages to the ground. <laughs> oh god, I clicked on him. Oh god, he died. Oh no, I'm on fire and I'm sitting at like seven, nine FPS. Oh, it, oh, it's like really struggling every time I place. Like it, it hiccups really bad. Go just walk, please. The sensitivity is really high, but it's just really not worth it to fix it. Good enough. Hope you enjoy your Amazon delivery. Okay, I don't think there's enough destruction going on yet. My maniacal wrath from when I was 12 has not been satiated in so long. <coughs> oh God. The chunks haven't even rendered yet. Oh, there they go. Oh, God. The chunks even, the chunks take so long. I wouldn't wish this on anybody. Like it's, it's bad. I swear, I don't remember it being this bad. You know what, I'm gonna stand amidst the chaos. Here I go. Oh, yep. There it goes. I used to like get a kick out of this. Now I just feel bad. Mostly for this computer, cause it's like, it's really struggling. I definitely wouldn't call 5, 6, 8, 12 FPS playable. It's it, it's playable in the sense that you can play it. It's not playable in the sense that it's a good idea to play at these settings, at this resolution, at this frame rate. We're just gonna see just how much I can torture this computer. If you guys thought like Furmark was a terrible torture test for computers, Try running a one core computer from 2009, 2008 probably, playing Minecraft at 7 FPS. Oh god! Oh shoot! Everything started blowing up. I did not cause that. Oh my god, oh my god. One FPS, one chunk update at a time. You should not run Minecraft on a computer that's half as old as I am. Especially one that has two gigs of DDR2 RAM, one core, one thread, integrated graphics. Even though they're Nvidia, they're still integrated. It's not okay. It brought back some memories. I remembered how kind of bad this system was. I despised this thing and I still kind of do. I think the most reliable component in this system had to have been the Cooler Master heatsink, because at least that's a brand that I know is still standing and doing good for themselves. And look at that, what are we averaging? One, four, four FPS. Oh, one more thing before I go. If you guys want to see me do the same thing I did to this system, to my super old Toshiba laptop that I upgraded to from this, leave a comment down below. I'm actually really considering it. If you guys don't want me to do it, then you know, I'm probably gonna do it anyway. Not much of an upgrade going from that thing to this thing. Overall, I had a fun time doing it. So I think I'm gonna end this here. If you like what you saw, you know what to do. And if you wanna see more of this kind of stuff, make sure to get subbed below because I love making this kind of content for you guys. So as always, have a good one. Oh my God, what am I gonna do with this thing now?